Hi everybody, I'm here to tell you about my grocery shopping trip today and how living the keto lifestyle is not as difficult as you think. You're not limiting yourself, you're not malnourished, you are energized and ready for the day. It's not as expensive as people think, all right? And you don't have to be a professional chef to make this work, okay? So I have five points I wanna go over. First of all, when you're grocery shopping, are you the type of person to go down the middle aisles right away or do you shop the perimeter or around the store first? The best way to get the healthiest food for your body is to shop the perimeter of the store, right? So in the perimeter, you have your produce, your fruits and vegetables, and you go down and you might be at the meats and seafoods. That's where you can find all your proteins. Then you head down to the dairy and the juices and the frozen aisle, right? So this is avoiding all the processed food aisles. This is avoiding the end caps that try and have all the good sales on the uh, Chips, Chips Ahoy cookies or the Oreos or the Tostitos, all the processed foods. So you want to make sure you're shopping the perimeter. Second point, you want to make sure you're going in with a list. Comment below, are you a lister or are you not? Because this saves so much time at the grocery store. You stick to a list, that means that you're automatically sticking to a budget without even realizing it, all right? You don't have to calculate it. You just have to stick to your list. When you're wandering around and don't have a list, you tend to buy things that you don't need. All right, you only buy things that you want. Oh my gosh, this looks great. Let's go down this aisle. Um, are you an every aisle shopper because you don't have that list in front of you? So having a list really helps. Knowing what's in your pantry and knowing what's in your fridge and then going with the list. Make sure that food doesn't go bad as quickly. You're only buying what you need and you're not over buying things that you don't need and then end up snacking or eating later. Third point, meal prep. Sounds intimidating, but it is not, okay? You need a protein, a veggie, a fat, that's it. That is it. All of those can be in one, depending on the food you're eating. I tend to meal prep on Saturdays and Sundays to get ready for the week. Everybody's schedule is super different now, especially being home, but making a routine for yourself is so important, right? In the morning, you can just get up, grab your lunch out of the fridge, know it's good for you, and know that you made it, know what's in it, and get ready to go. It takes a couple hours on the weekend or a couple hours during the week, depending on your schedule, and it really makes the world of a difference. Um, third, uh, fourth point, sorry. Uh, if you think you don't know any recipes, ask. Okay, this is why we make these videos. This is why I like to reach out to people. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Pinterest, if you're on uh, Instagram, there's so many food groups and food pages out there to look for. And it's really fun to experiment. Uh, if you're not a cook, if you don't like to cook at all, um, it's a great way to find easy, easy and quick tricks. I buy a lot of already made food. So cauliflower rice is already sold. It's about three bucks a bag, um, which is the same price as a cauliflower head, but it's already made. I could microwave this or saute it with anything. I also buy frozen veggies. This is cut broccoli, two bucks. Cheaper than buying a couple heads of broccoli and really, really quick and easy. I think I'm gonna make stir fry with those. And the last point is a healthy lifestyle and whether you eat keto now or not, but any kind of lifestyle that you want to change is an investment in yourself. Okay. The most important investment you can make in your life is for yourself is for yourself because as time goes on, you're creating habits in your body and in your mind. You control what you eat, you control what you think, and this just creates the best pattern that you could have for yourself moving on, right? So today I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I bought. Um, I went shopping after work, not typically something that I do, 
but I have my ketones in the afternoon. I was ready, I was motivated, and I was energized. I wrote a list this morning and had my reusable grocery bags in the car, and I told myself this is what I was going to do. I, my mindset was changed, and I was already in the mindset. So controlling that mindset uh, made me motivated, and then I was ready to roll. So let me flip this around. I was in video mode, but here is what I bought today. I bought a couple new things and some things that are always my go-to. So I showed you my frozen veggies. I showed you my cauliflower rice, beautiful. Um, I also love to buy <laughs> bags of the Caesar salad. Doesn't seem keto, right? But a lot of times these are on sale, two for four, two for five. Rather than buying heads of lettuce that I know are going to wilt in my refrigerator because I never know how much to make, I buy the prepackaged and I just take out the dressing and the croutons. I add bacon bits, I add hard boiled eggs, I add chopped up veggies, whatever you want to add, you can make it your own. My bacon, always a go-to. Um, I also bought some avocados. These are great on salads. This is great on the 90 second keto bread. I'm going to tag my girl Brianna because she knows the recipe. I haven't made it yet, but I've heard it's wonderful. So it's good on the 90 second keto bread recipe. It's good in a wrap. Everybody eat some avocado. All right. Great source of fat. I'm going to try these ice cream bars. So I had a different kind and it was brownie cookie dough. Yes brownie cookie dough. These are caramel dark chocolate peanut. So I'll let you know how those are. Um, I got some ground beef. I always have chicken or beef in the freezer. Sometimes we'll get pork chops or steak too, but mostly we stick with those because they're the cheapest. Um, I'm going to food save some of it and cook some of it. And then we have sour cream. I always like to have that on hand for any kind of easy dips or on top of tacos. My cottage cheese, I love cottage cheese. I have this with agave and pepitas as a snack. Um, you could also have it with different kinds of berries. Uh, my yogurts, I buy the Oikos kind because they have a decent amount of protein, but there are all sorts of different uh, yogurts on the market now. These were a dollar, so I tend to buy them. The uh, too Good, I think is the brand. They have great yogurt too, which is low in sugar. And I found these in the store today. These are new, um, but they're parm crisps. And it's a gr I hope it's a great snack um, to have. So I'll let you know how these are too. These are new. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul today. And I really hope you take away at least the five tips that I shared with you. Uh, just a reminder, it's shopping the perimeter of the store, going in with a list, trying to meal prep for yourself or your family, um, looking online for recipes, asking friends, going on Pinterest. There are so many substitutional options out there that you can find. And the fifth one is it's an investment in yourself. And if you go in with the mindset of that's an investment in myself, I am taking care of myself and this is going to be a long journey the rest of my life. You're going to succeed. Thanks guys. Have a good weekend.